Many people will be doing their last minute shopping this weekend, the final one before Christmas. Chief Meteorologist Paul Barris is in the Storm Alert Center. Which day is going to be our best shopping day, Paul? I think tomorrow. Actually, you know, it's gonna, both days will be all right. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to probably see some rain move in late tomorrow night, and then the first half of Sunday could be wet, but neither day is going to be a total washout Sunday, and temperatures going to be about the same both days. Uh, there's a big storm that's going to develop out into the Great Plains, and you see this big dip in the jet. That usually creates that, but we'll be on the warm side of it coming up with a southwesterly flow in the upper atmosphere, and then uh, the real cold air, where all this purple is up to the north, that's where it's going to uh, be trapped, so we don't have to worry about that for a while, but I'm telling you folks, there's some really, really cold air. Coldest air of the season is building up over the western part of Canada, and it's poised to move to the south and east coming up in about a week's time, so get ready for that. That's a long way off, but uh, I'm just warning you right now, uh, some really cold air heading our way. Uh, some rain-snow mix across the northern plains up into the northern Great Lakes. Some high clouds streaming our way, not a big deal. Clouds a little bit thicker, that's what the blue indicates, where there's a little more thicker cloudiness. But that's off to the north. Currently it's 45, and it's 44 in Dalton, and 42 out near Murphy, with winds lighting out of the north. 41 already at the Dayton Airport, 47, 26 for the high and the low. Close to our forecast of 49 and 26, and we're still 20 inches above normal in rain. A remarkable year so far in water. Uh, 48 uh, Scottsboro, 47 Dalton, 41 in Fort Mountain, that's pretty cold, 49 in Calhoun too, so struggling to get to 50 degrees. Cleveland at 46, uh, 47 Lakeside, and only 41 up on Signal and Mowbray Mountain, while Signal Mountain had 39. And then right across uh, the rest of the area, well, Altamont only got to 44, got down to about, I think, 15 degrees last night out near Altamont. And then we had about 17, 18, 19 degrees out near Delano, 42 Turtle Town, 45 out near Murphy. Vipercast goes into motion, and again, you see all that rain out to the west of us till about 11 o'clock Saturday night. Then it starts to spread in overnight after midnight, and the first half of Sunday will be wet, and then, but light rain. And then by afternoon, it starts to break apart, although the clouds will still be hanging tough. And then we'll see some clearing as another cold front slips in on Tuesday, and dry weather through Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday. And we're probably only going to see uh, coming up tomorrow night and an early Sunday, maybe a couple tents of an inch of rain at the most. 28 tonight with a few high clouds. For tomorrow, 51 partly cloudy, not bad, that's near normal. Tomorrow night, 40, a few more clouds, some showers after midnight. And then on the seven day, a 30% chance Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, mid 50s, mid 50s Wednesday. So not bad at all, temperatures above freezing. And that changes on Thursdays, the cold air blasts in. We'll get some rain to begin with the first half of the day. Changes over to snow as far as how much, that's a long way off. Friday, though, is going to be cold. That's Christmas Day, 35 and 20 for the low Christmas morning. So get ready. A big blast of cold air coming in for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. Cindy?